Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been super long since I've done any doll reviews but I have been moving house and obviously Christmas was around and I just had never had any time to get any doll reviews done but now finally we're back again and this time we're going to make sure this channel is bigger and better than ever. So as you can see behind me I have finally have my very own doll room. Um, it's been nicely displayed, I will give you a nice little uh, look at what is um, in the room um, on another video. As you can see some of the shelves are empty because we just got so much space now, we've got room for more dolls which is always brilliant. I've also changed the name of this uh, channel to um, DAJ Dude with Dolls. Dude with Dolls? Dude with Dolls? Dude with Dolls. Let's try that again. Um, so yeah, so anyway guys, so welcome to the brand new channel and um, yeah, so today I am going to be doing a review on the brand new Disney dolls from the Disney store, the classic dolls. So I'm really, really excited that they've actually released these. Um, so we've got Meg from Hercules. Really, really excited, guys. So guys, that is what we are going to do. I'm going to unbox them and I'm going to give you a nice close-up with them. Okay guys, so what I am going to do is I'm going to start off with Meg from Hercules. So let's get out of the box. Ta-da! Okay guys, so here is Meg from Hercules. So can I just say as well, while I was unboxing, sorry, getting in the way now. While I was unboxing, I just found out these boxes were super, 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 super easy to remove the doll. They were just in coloured bands. That was it. There was no twisting or turning. It was so easy. I didn't even need to use scissors. Anyway, let's get on with the doll. So, this doll is absolutely amazing. Uh, the quality and detail is brilliant. The only, only negative I have got right now is this. I don't know if you can see, but I am covered in glitter from this dress. Yeah, Disney Store, the glitter, it might look good, but to touch, it's all over the place. So we're not keen on that. Um, but anyway, let me just talk about the doll in general. Um, at first, because of the glitter, I was actually going to get rid of the actual dress um, and put on maybe one of the uh, 90s dresses. But if I'm being honest, other than the glitter, the dress is actually really nice. Um, and doesn't look as papery, I would have called it, as it did on the uh, online Disney store pictures. Um, anyway, the doll, so the dress is, the dress is okay. It's not too bad. Um, it's just the glitter ruins it really. I think it would have been better without glitter completely. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a really close up of Meg's face. Maybe we can focus on the face. That's better. So as you can see, here is Meg's gorgeous, gorgeous detailed face. Um, she she has the eyebrows, you know, that are a bit funky. Um, she's even got um, some of her fringe that comes down on the front. The only thing I would also say is missing on this Meg um, is the little curls on the sides. Um, but we can we can manage without that. It's not too much of a big deal. But obviously, you know, we all know Meg has little ringlets on either side. Um, but then again, that's probably showing my age with the uh, 90s Disney dolls. Um, her hair is gorgeous. I mean, it's so, it's a lot and lots of jowl and glitter, as you can see in the picture. <laughs> but other than that, um, Meg is, um, her hair is really, really gorgeous. And I love the colouring of it as well. It's like a brown, deep, purpley sort of colour, which, is, you know, Meg's sort of look. Um, the ponytail as well is on like more to the side rather than in the middle. I'm guessing that's for dis display purposes. Um, her face is gorgeous, yeah, as you can see. She's got a lot of attitude as always with Meg. Um, these here little things are little clips um, that are stuck on. You can't take those off um, and that just goes around there like that. So it's just underneath, nothing really going on. And she's got another little band here, and obviously this this one here that goes around. Again, you know, if you're a 90s Disney collector, you will remember the amazing quality in the dress, um, which this was a separate piece, and I think the dress would come up as well, and you could change the styles. But these are basic Disney dolls, and if anything, these were probably more 
The pro I bet the 90s ones were more expensive back in the day, I reckon. But the face on the Disney Store one is 10 times better than the Mattel 90s dolls. That's what I have to say. Okay, so just showing you underneath, um, no nudity guys, because we have pants and they are moulded on pants. We've also got bendable and snap at the knees for articulation. And one of the best things that everyone is really, really loving that Megara has got is the little sandal shoes. So that's cool. We like that. Um, which goes totally with her look. And you see there, little shoes. Cool. Um, and yeah, articulation is in the knees. And articulation is obviously all the Disney souls are the same as on their hands and their wrists. And obviously their arms can go all the way around. So yeah guys, so anyway, that is my review on Make From Hercules. So um, yeah, let's move on to the next one.